I'm Nathan Judy. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Nash. Tim, dare I say it, things are looking pretty good at the moment. Yes, they are. I mean, Wolves uh, have scored um, eight goals in the last two games, two wins, two clean sheets. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking good. They're, they're, they've suddenly hit a, a, a glut of goals. You know, every, everybody's scoring. Sacco is back firing three goals in two games. New Adiko. Um, playing well as well, uh, Benica Fobi, uh, five in seven. So um, it's uh, yeah, it's looking very good for them at the moment. Is this as excited as you've been for for some time now up front? Certainly up front, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, at the back they're looking very solid as well, which which is very good. Um, I, I, I think the, the biggest probably plus out of it is, is the fact that they've, they've reverted to a different formation, playing four four two. Um, and, and they're scoring a lot more goals, so they're, they're gambling a bit more uh, by being perhaps a little bit lighter, and less fluid in, in midfield, um, but seemingly able to, to keep the back door shut and, uh, and and look a lot more potent going forward. So they've worked out a way of of getting of keeping uh, two um, uh, very fast, powerful strikers on the pitch at the same time and getting the best out of them, uh, but also keeping things tight behind them. How are things looking for the weekend? Yeah, uh, everybody's fit apart from long-term casualties, Carl Ikemi and Tommy Rowe. Um, so they're, you know, they're looking in good shape for, for Cardiff. Um, uh, we've got a piece in today's paper saying that Kenny Jacket will still be the tinker man. He's, he's going to, mm. uh, and I would expect him to. I mean, this is the third game of five inside 15 games, uh, 15 days, sorry, for, for Wolves. So, and he generally makes at least one change in every game. And um, it, I, th I think his explanation for that is quite interesting in that he thinks that, you know, uh, uh, head coach should should not just look at uh, not um, at keeping a winning side. Um, that uh, things like fatigue and different requirements for different games, different strategies, uh, you know, re require um, a real heavy look at, uh, at team selection. And that's why I think he'd, he'd probably tweak it again uh, for Cardiff tomorrow. And there'll be no pushovers. Obviously, thank for the rise at the bottom of the table and, and undefeated in February. Well, I mean, that, that's slightly distorted picture in that before Tuesday's 1-0 win at Wigan, they'd gone nine games without a win, albeit uh, four in a row have been, have been draws. But from what I can gather, I think uh, the manager there, Russell Slade, is under a little bit of pressure. Um, Cardiff have been, have been like a lot of clubs that have come out of the Premier League, really. It's a period of transition, as Fulham have found this season. Uh, Cardiff um, they're desperate to slash the wage bill and uh, allowed six players to leave in January and, and brought five in. Um, with, with a much more kind of youthful, lower key, uh, lower profile look to their to their squad, so um, you know th th they've they've been a bit hit and miss this season. And Wolves will be anxious to to claim another double um, as they uh, as they did against Fulham. And five points away from the playoffs, still even though they keep on winning, it's so, so hard at the top, isn't it? Everyone keeps winning. Yeah, I mean, it's as much as Wolves can do at the moment just to hang on to the coattails of these teams. And, and, and the good thing, I suppose, from their perspective is is that uh, the, the the top six haven't been able to get away from them. You know, they've always been kind of four or five points away, um, despite them winning and now Wolves winning as well. I mean, it just shows just how tight the division is and that if Wolves want to achieve their aim this season, you know, there can't be any let up. And, um, from uh, I, I um, undertook a little exercise the other day and, and go through the last 10 years and, and looked at the minimum requirement to reach the playoffs and it's 72.7 uh, points on average over the last 10 years and uh, uh, Kenny Jackett thinks it will be um, anything between 75 and 80 to get in this year so it's not going to be easy and um, as we've seen there's so many changes in, in, in that top six that um, you know they've, they've got to keep their foot to the ground uh, if, if they want to get in there. And you can hear and read plenty more from Tim throughout the game as Wolves travel to Cardiff City on Saturday.